Let's say you have created a model like this, and you want to render it along with HDRI lighting. So far it looks good. And here, we have world opacity. If we increase this, we'll get this blurred background, which is a reflection of the HDRI. It looks really cool, and very appealing if you are rendering a model for your portfolio. The magic is in this blur field. If we remove the blur, the background will turn very ordinary, it may not look good at all. So if we use this option, we should also enable the blur. But remember, these settings are applicable only for the viewport, it does not take effect when you render the scene. We have to set up the world background separately. But the problem is, we don't have any kind of blur node in the shader editor that we can use in order to blur the background. So in this tutorial, we will learn how we can create the same settings like this to get a blurred background in the render. We'll first enable this scene world. Then we have to go back to the shader editor and switch over to the world tab from here. We can hide this side panel. By default, we get these two shader nodes and we have to connect one HDRI image to this background node. So we'll first add a node which is called Environment Texture Node. And for this texture, select any HDRI file that you can download from the internet. Then connect the color output of the Environment Texture to the background node, which will enable the HDRI background for this scene. So if we open the viewport side by side, we can verify that the background is now visible. Next, we have to simply blur this background. We can do that by adding few more nodes here, before the environment texture. We need three additional nodes here, the first one of them is a texture coordinate node. The blur will come from a noise distribution, so we need a noise texture as well. And finally, we need to combine them with a mix color node. Let us duplicate this node, since we need one more mix color. So that's pretty much all we really need for the blur effect. Now connect the generated output of the texture coordinate to the noise texture, and also connect the same to the first input of the mix color node. We need to change this function to add type. Now connect the output of the noise texture to its second input. Then we have to connect it to the first input of this mix shader. And here we have to use the opposite function to remove the lightness, so we'll select the subtract option. And for its second input, we'll go with the default color, but later we'll see that we can even change these values if we need to. Finally, connect this mix output to our environment texture node. As a result, the background will get a distorted form like this, and we can easily convert it into a blurred image by changing the scale factor of this noise texture node. We have to use an insanely high number here, we can use 10,000. This will give us a blurred image of the background, and the actual render output will look even better than what we see in this viewport. So let's render the scene and verify. This can definitely add an extra dimension to your rendered image, and we can also control the amount of this blur. Let's again bring back our shader editor. Then we'll need to add a node called value node and place it somewhere here. We have to connect it to the color mix nodes. Don't forget to connect it to both of them. Now we can use this value to control the amount of blur for the background image or the HDRI. If we enter say 0.3, we'll get 30% blur here. Or if you like, you can increase it further as well. Now, here in this second color input, if you change this value field, you'll get a different kind of color shade for the blurred background. You can use whatever looks best for your particular scene, or just go with the default values. So this is how we can blur the HDRI background and create a professional output. That's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.